<clears throat> hey guys, License Gamer here, and welcome back to my Crash to Insanity walkthrough. And apparently, this is my second take of this video because apparently something happened with my camera and it forces me to restart all over again. But thankfully, I have, but thankfully, I have another save file, so that way I can start from there and I won't have to start the entire iceberg level again. So, nope. Oh. Okay, there's that again. But okay. <clears throat> anyway, welcome back to my Crash Insanity walkthrough. I already said that already. <laughs> but in this video, we're gonna continue going on to um going to Cortex's um iceberg lab and such. So let's proceed forward. And I know I keep pronouncing Uka Uka's name wrong, and I apologize for that. And okay, Crash almost made me fall. But yeah, um, yeah, um, I have something to tell you guys. Um. When I was playing, um, when I was playing the final part of Crash 3, when, um, Cortex started throwing the bombs in us, and while, um, Aku Aku and Uka Uka was basically going, um, Goku and Vegeta on, on each other, it kind of reminded me of the boss fight, of the Cortex boss fight from the previous video. Well, from the start of, uh, at least the start of this walkthrough. And, yeah. But yeah, I've also noticed that, um, Oh yeah, oh yeah, um, I have noticed some of the, um, old Crash villains in the beginning of the game. I do notice some of them, like Crunch, um, Crunch, and that's basically all I know. And the Kang, you gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me! It's gonna take me all the way back to the checkpoint. Wow. <sighs> Great. Well, this is a good start to this video, because, you know... Crash made me die. Excellent. This is this is just lovely. Yep, it's gonna take me all the way back here. I'll cut ahead. Okay, guys, I'm back. Let's try this again. There we go. <clears throat> oh yeah, um, oh yeah, guys. Um, here's the good news. School is almost over for me, so that means I get to make it. I can get, I can make more videos as much as much often as I want. Well, uh, keep in mind, I, but keep in mind, like I said, I'll be, like I said, in my other, in my last video, I will be working pretty soon, so I probably won't make, I probably won't make videos as much as, I, as much as often as I can, but I will make videos as, as, as often. We must make preparations for. I wonder who that could be. It's probably for you. <clears throat> uh oh. But yeah, we don't find that out until later on in the game. So, but, but it all makes sense, though. It all makes sense. Okay. Wait, there's one more. So basically, for this part, we have to defeat those um the evil bird twin minions, I guess. Whatever they're supposed to be. I get I didn't like ants though, but except they have lightsabers. All right, got any more? Is that all you got, evil twins? Is that all you got? Is that all you got? Whoa. I could have sworn they glitched. <laughs> Is that all of them? Uh, I don't want to give it to you, Cortex. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> no, I think we're gonna keep that in mind. <laughs> Doctor Cortex, what have you done? Who are these evil upstarts? I've ruined the lives of so many. I can't be expected to remember them all. <laughs> Such a big head. Such a tiny brain. If we deliver him to the evil twins, perhaps they will spare us. But they'll kill me. That's a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> Crash, I've been like a father to you. I created you, nursed you, tried to destroy you. Yes. 
with my mighty intellect and your vacuous stupidity will be unbeatable. Yeah, so Crash and Cortex are officially working together. This way. <clears throat> and now we're following him, following him again. <laughs> so basically, the Iceberg Lab is basically going to be our um, hub world until we get to the final part of the game, which is well, I'm not going to spoil it though, but that's what we're here for, basically. So, okay, thank you, game. Thank you. That that's 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 the part that actually caught me to start my whole video over. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot we're supposed to go the other way, right? Or what? Or is it this way? I can't remember. Oh no, we're not supposed to go that way. Oh, I keep forgetting. It is this way. It's been a while since I played this game. Oh, there's Cortex. That's the name. This is the Psychotron. Gateway to the infinite dimensions. Beyond our universe, somewhere between the 9th and 11th dimensions, lies the mysterious 10th dimension. And there we must go in order to confront the evil twins, steal the riches, and <laughs> restore the natural order of... Yes, yeah, steal the riches. We require six power crystals in order to make the leap, and we have... Four. No. Let's see. That isn't enough! All is lost unless. Oh, we got another plan, Cortex. Come along. And we're following him again. Okay, sure. I guess that. I guess that's the plan you're going with. And I guess that's. Oh, cool. That's cool. I guess. <clears throat> so yeah, this is basically gonna take us to the eighth dimension, which that's which that's basically that's later on in the game. And we basically have to follow Cortex again to get the rest of the crystals, and it looks like he has another plan for us. So that's cool. <clears throat> the music in this game is just too great, seriously. The soundtrack is just too great. And this game looks really, really good for its time, too. For a 2004 game, this game, this game has some pretty neat graphics. I will get, I will get at that. Alright. So yeah, not really much to say here, because, you know... There's really nothing much to say about these platforming sections in this game, because even though it's basically... I mean, I'm, there's really nothing much to say about these platforming sections in this game, because it is pretty disappointing, because that's mainly that's mainly what you do in this game, is platforming. Not much to say here, obviously, because I said that. Alright. Hey, Cortex. There, to the sea, I tell you. Our salvation floats upon the briny blue. We must reach Engine's battleship and quickly before it sets sail. But how? Think, Cortex, think. Mm, I don't know, Cortex. What do you think you should do, Crash? Uh, no. Crash, no. Rape is not an option. Raping is not the plan in, in this game. No! Oh. Oh, you're gonna use him as a snowboard. Oh god, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, so so this is basically the new mechanic in this game. Basically using Cortex as a freaking snowboard. Which is called the Humili Skate. <laughs> no joke, that's actually the name of the move in this game, the Humili Skate. Get it? Humiliate Skate? And I didn't get the gem, but okay. I didn't get the gym, but that's okay. And you have to hit those things in order to lead these um, ramps up. So it kind of reminds me of the um the way the way Jack used the hoverboard in the um in Jack Two and Three. I could be wrong on that, but that, but it actually reminds me of the hoverboard the hoverboard um challenges in um the first Ratchet and Clank game more more mostly. But yeah, basically just skateboarding. The music, oh yeah, this is, this is actually my favorite part of the entire game, though. Not only the music, but this is, but the whole skating thing right here. Basically, using Cortex as a snowboard, skating around, skating around this. This is basically, this is basically my, this is basically the best part of this entire game for me. The music is also really good too. Oh God. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious! 
Oh, look out! Look out! Oh! Ah, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like I said, the, mu the music in this level is really good, too. Whoa! Yeah, it reminds me of um SS um SSX um games. It right it, it mostly reminds me of me playing the um the um SSX the SSX games on PS2. Oh! Okay, I got it. Oh, this is the funny part right here. Did you just say mother? <laughs> mother? <laughs> what was what was Cortex's mom doing in there? <laughs> oh my god, this game is so funny. <clears throat> oh! Uh, ah, crap. I failed. Oh, go oh, yeah, this is also a funny part, too. You actually see core tactics. God damn it. You can basically see Cortex's expressions when you're riding him as a um, skateboard. Ah, uh, you can't see anymore now. Oh, well. Ah, darn it. Okay, now you can see his expressions now. It's so funny though. Look at look at his face. I, I feel I feel so sorry for Cortex. Seriously. And I didn't make it. Wow, and I glitched too. That's great. What the? F Did you see that? Oh, come on, Cortex. I mean, not Cortex. Yeah, Cortex. Come on, Cortex. Move faster. Whoa! What the heck? And I died again. Great. Whoopee. I gotta I have I have to hit that again. You gotta hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up. There we go, we made it. I couldn't get the gem, but whatever. Oh that's gotta hurt. Ah well whatever. Whoa! Ooh. Oh god, oh I forgot about this part. <laughs> They're in the snowball together. <laughs> yeah! Oh! Crinkle I think crinkle duck. Crocodile. Oh, and there's no sound effect. I've never been so humiliated. No amount of treasure could ever begin to compensate. Treasure, right? Monster. Oh, apparently you're not worried that your entire house is 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 broken down to pieces. Come on, Cortex, get up. Come on. Uh, okay then. That was fun. But anyway, um. In the next video, we're gonna go to Engine's Battleship, which is right over there. Or, apparently, yeah. Yeah, this is Engine's Battleship. And see you guys then. This is Lysis Gamer signing off.